Hey, hey everybody. Welcome to Retired Rider. Hope that you are doing well today. Uh, we've had nothing, nothing. Sorry if you hear some noise. It's a heater over here. We've had nothing but rain. I mean rain, 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 rain. I mean, we had some snow, but I mean, it's just mainly rain. It just rains all the time. I think if it wasn't for about 1,700 pounds of motorcycle sitting in this shed, as high as the water was around it, I think that it would have floated over the hill. Ow. I think it would have floated over the hill, but uh, in the backyard here. But we're still here. Yeah, I think 1,600 pounds, 1,700 pounds held us down. It's crazy, just, just way too much rain. Anyway, hope that you guys are doing well. Hope that there ain't too much rain where you're at and you can get out and ride or do something. But anyway, the other day I was watching YouTube. Yeah, I know, I watch YouTube. Um, I have a YouTube channel, but I watch YouTube too. Watch other channels and I was watching Roy's Moto Adventures and his brother was putting on his, um, I'll show you here in a minute where you plug in your, uh, I guess, your battery tender or whatever. He was putting, actually, a spot where you can plug it in instead of having the wires hanging out the side. If you, I don't know if you guys can see this down here, probably out of frame, but get your wire hanging out the side right there behind the cover. You got wires right here. And it's a nice little plug that you put in. I'll show you, like I said, here in a minute. And you put in here, and you can just hide that wire, put it behind the cover, and you can just plug in your battery tender. And I thought it was an excellent idea, and it looked good. Got them right here. It looked good. I bought two of them, of course. Uh, two bikes, so I bought two of them. And it's, I mean, I'll get up in here. and really don't have a place to set the camera in here. It's so tiny, the tiny shed. And I mean, they're nice. It looks nice, it really does. And you plug your, uh, plug your tender in right there. Of course, it's supposed to sit you know, wherever you decide on your side cover. You know, it's supposed to sit on there like that. And then you got your four screws. And uh, I noticed Roy's uh, brother used, uh, um, he didn't use the screws, he used actually nuts and, uh, yeah. What am I trying to say? I lost my train of thought. But anyway, he used uh, some other screws. He used uh, uh, a bolt and a uh, nut on the other side to hold it instead of just screws. There you go. There you go. I got it. Anyway, that's what he used. And I thought I thought it was pretty awesome. And they are. They are really nice, good quality. Uh, I got it off Amazon and they close up. And I thought, you know what? That would make things a lot easier and having that wire hanging outside look a lot better, and it does. It looked great on his bike, his side cover, but I'm having a problem. <laughs> I'm having a big problem. Now, I, I might go ahead and do it on the Goldwing. Well, not the Goldwing, but the uh, Valkyrie. I might go ahead and do it on the Valkyrie. Eh, Goldwing, same engine. But anyway, <laughs> I might go ahead and do it on the uh, Valkyrie. Not sure yet, though. I've not made up my mind on either one because I just, I can't bring myself to drill a hole in there, I, especially in the Harley. I just can't, I can't, I thought, well, maybe here. And then I thought, well, maybe, you know, back here or, you know, but then I just, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble putting a hole, I got the side cover off, but I'm having, I just, you know, that's, if you look back here, I'm sorry if I stepped down frame, but if you look back here, I mean, that's a pretty good size. And it's gotta go, you know, it's a pretty good hold it's gotta go into, and it's got a recess right here. I know it's hard to see because the way the camera is. And I don't, I, I, uh, I don't know. I know, excellent idea. And I sure wouldn't knock anybody for doing it. It was a, a easy installation, but you just gotta drill that hole. And, I don't, I don't, I mean, you could tuck your wires back, take your side cover off, put, your, put it on there wherever you want to put it, 
and you know, tuck your wire back there and not to worry about pulling out a wire and everything. You just, you just plug it in. Just plug, plug it in. Like I said, you got wires hanging out here, you know, off the side of your bike that's hooked to your battery. You guys know. You got. You guys know. You know. But I thought, yeah, that's an excellent idea. But I just can't bring myself to do it. I mean, I want to do it because I think it would look, you know, make things easier. Actually, I got one hanging off this side of this bike and another one hanging off the other side of it. And well, I don't. Whoever had the bike did that. They had one uh, hookup for your battery tender, trickle charge, whatever you want to call it, and another one for that side. And now I got, there's two wires hanging off there, so you have to kind of tuck them away or they, you know, they look bad. And on the Harley, I got to take the side cover off to get to mine because the one I put on there wasn't long enough, so I got to take this off to get to it. I just, I'm, is it just me or would you have a problem drilling into the side of your side cover, especially on your Harley? I mean, I don't ever plan on selling the, Har the, the Road King. That's not ever, what the hell? Okay, that's not a plan of mine to ever do, but would somebody else like that? Would somebody else like a hole in there? Like I said, I'm not down in it. I mean, Roy's Mud Adventures where I've seen it. His brother was doing it on his gold wing and it looked great and awesome. That's why I purchased them. I thought, man, that's a great idea. But when I came out here to uh, actually install them, I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just don't want to put a hole, especially in the side cover of my Road King. I just, I, I just can't bring myself to do it and there's really no other place to put it. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I had to give it a, more thought. Then I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead, like I said, and we'll do it to the, uh, the Valkyrie, the Honda here. And you know, and I thought, well, you know, like I said earlier, what if somebody don't like it? What if I sell the bike? This one's not gonna get sold. But what if I sell this bike? You guys know me, I'm on, you know, bikes come and go, except for the Road King. And the person that buys it says, hey man, you ruined the bike. You put a hole in the side cover. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm going back and forth in my mind. I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the plugs and I'm thinking, yeah, they don't look bad. And once you get the screws in there, it's not gonna look bad. Once you get the screws in there and get it inside and get it all routed, I'm just having a problem putting a hole in the side cover. Even on the even on the uh, Valkyrie, I'm having I'm having issues with it. So I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet. I'm thinking about it. It's a great idea, and uh, like I said, Roy's Motor Adventure, where I see his brother did it, and I no way, shape, or form not going to tell me it looked good when he was done. It looked great on his bike, and you know, if he has no issue with it, then it, hey nothing wrong with that but i just i don't know man i just can't bring myself to put a hole in my side cover but i might change my mind i might think about it some more and i might change my mind i don't know what do you guys think would you would you put a hole in your side cover to put one of these in let me know down in the comment section if you guys would you know if that's something you would consider on your harley or whatever bike you have i don't know i just have problems drilling holes and putting holes you know bikes but like i said i thought it was such a great idea not to be redundant, which you know I am, that's how I am. But um, I thought it was a great idea. But now when I'm out here, you know, came out here to do it, that's why I'm doing this video. When I came out here to do it, I was thinking, man, I don't know. Can I do that? Can I drill a hole in my side cover? Can I, can I, I mean, yeah, it looks great. Like I said several times now, <laughs> it looks great. And it is a great idea, but Ah, uh, I just don't want to take away from the bike. I don't want to take the, you know, drilling holes in bikes and putting holes in bearings and putting holes in side covers and that are not meant to be there. I don't know. I'm having an issue with it. Might have to send them back. But uh, yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards sending them back because it's just, I don't know. It, again, you know, I mean, you could put it here I mean, you could put it right in the back middle would not, that definitely wouldn't be a thing, but maybe back here, I mean, that's right here would be the best place down here at the bottom, but what the hell? Got a scratch. No, that's not good. Anyway, I think we're going to hold off for now and give it some more thought. 
I might send them back. I don't know. Like I said, please leave it down there in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel about it. If you would do it to your bike, would you put a hole in your side cover or anywhere in your bike that's not necessary? I just, I don't know. And if you do, hey, that's great. I mean, you know, do it, do it, do what you like. You know, I have no problems with that. Who am I to say what people do to their bikes? It's just I'm having a problem with it. I'm having a problem with, you know, taking away the original, you know, and putting something somewhere where, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's where I'm at on those. The bikes are really dusty here when I get done. Spending some great quality time with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, get the fire compressor up and blow some of the dust off the bikes. Um, supposed to dry out for the next week and be in the low 50s so maybe I can roll them out if it dries up enough I mean we got swamp land outside I mean just swamp land it's where the dogs kind of walking like it's on you know when she goes out to use the bathroom she's kind of like walking on water you know what I mean she she don't, she don't like it it's kind of like when she gets snow stuck up in her falls she walks around like it's crazy but I don't know if I'll be able you know be able to get them out to do anything to them or not I'd like to be able to at least blow the like I say fire up the compressor blow the dust off of them maybe maybe this weekend or early next week we can get them out to wipe them down a little bit but I think we're like what are we like 40 something days out from spring uh, I'm sure you've seen my shorts and my videos I'm just ready I'm ready to go out for a ride maybe maybe this weekend if we can get a peak of sun if the sun could come out Maybe I could convince the wife and myself we could suit up, you know, if it's in the 50s, like I said, we could suit up and go for a ride. That would do me a lot of good. Probably freeze to death, but that's okay. It'd be nice to be out on the bike. Maybe take the Valkyrie out for a ride. That would be nice. Probably going to do a lot of Valkyrie riding in the first part of the spring because, you know, it's a new bike, new to us, and just want to get it out and see what it can do. And get used to riding it because it's... You know, you're talking about two different animals here, two way different animals. You got a Honda Valkyrie and you got a, a Harley Road King. Yeah, two different animals, two different seating positions. And yeah, just totally different. But I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we love it. Hopefully it rides good. I think I'm gonna have to adjust the shocks because the last time I rode it to get gas in it, it just, I don't know, it didn't feel right in the rear end. So we're gonna have to do that. We got stuff to do there too. I mean, we got to, do the rear diff, got to do the uh, transmission, or the, the um, coolant flush, we got to do an oil change, you know, nothing too serious, basic stuff, and clean her up, just, you know, it's not as clean as I would like it to be, I like, I like, I like a real clean bike, you know, when my bike goes down to the shop, my buddy says, everybody that comes in says, man, that guy don't ride that bike, there's no way he rides that bike, it's too clean, yeah, well, I do ride it, you know, we put 7,000 miles on this, last summer i know i've said it before but we put seven thousand miles on it and a lot of you know we trailered it a lot of places and then rode so that's telling you a lot how many miles we put on bikes but we just even when we're out even when we're out on a trip we get the rags out we take them with us we get the rags out and we wipe them down every night before we before we go into the hotel or whatever i mean that's just i don't know that's just what we do keep them looking nice that's what i like but this tiny shed that's what we're going to call it from now on this is the tiny shed it's not a shed it's a, the tiny shed. This tiny shed, still, I, I just can't come out here. It's just hard to come out here. It, it drives me crazy. But we're looking, actually, we're looking for uh, another house now. I, I'm wanting to be out of here sometime this summer. Uh, Should have never took this house, but it is what it is. I fortunately will make some money off of it, so that's good. I just don't want to have to move again, but I just can't take this. We, I, I got to have a, a pole barn, uh, a two-car garage, something. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to just jump into another house just because of, this is getting on my nerves. But we're going, we're looking, and hopefully we'll find something that better suits us and gives us the room we need because we definitely need room. It's the tiny shed just is not working out. Anyway, tell me what you think about those. Would you? Uh, would you put a hole in your side cover of your bike to put one of those in? I mean, they are cool. It's a great idea, but I'm just, I don't, I just can't, I don't, just, I, I don't know. Just putting a hole in that thing. I know I've grabbed this thing, you know, how many times in this video, but just, 
digging a drill in a hole in this side cover, especially on the Harley. You know, not to mention the Valkyrie. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. I, I don't know. I'm leaning more toward that I can't do it. So it probably will. We probably won't have a video on putting those plugs in because I just I can't. I'm sitting on the back. I can't do it. I just I just made up my mind just now. Sit on the back. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm gonna sit on the back. I just can't do it. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all very much. Um, do me a favor. If you watch the video, hit that like button. It does help the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed, it's fine. Come back. You know, I'm, I usually put up a video once a week on Thursdays. Come back and check us out next week. Um, but if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. doesn't cost you anything. We appreciate that, too. But definitely hit that like button. It helps, it helps out a lot. Anyway, you guys be safe out there. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care now.